Hi, Internet Grandpa here, and today we're going to re read the book titled Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore's Tale. Before we begin, please reach down, click like, and subscribe. That tells YouTube you like these sorts of videos, and they'll put more of them in your feed. Now, without further ado, Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore's Tale. Poor Eeyore was tired of his tail. It seemed that whenever he did the least little thing, it fell right off. Just today, it had come loose as he trotted over to Rabbit's garden. This time, Eeyore decided that enough was enough. He left his tail in the grass. Tigger didn't think an Eeyore without a tail was such a good idea. How will you know your back from your front? He asked. I hadn't thought of that, said Eeyore. But how can I find my tail again? Have no fear, Tigger replied. Private Eye Tigger is here. <laughs> In the meantime, Rabbit had found Eeyore's tail lying on the ground. He had painted a little face on it and used it as a worm wrangler. Hi, Rabbit. What's that? asked Pooh, pointing at the tail. Oh, nothing, said Rabbit. Nothing at all. He left the worm wrangler lying on the ground. It does look a little like a worm, doesn't it? Hmm, said Pooh to himself. There's no sense in letting whatever this is go to waste. Maybe I can use it for something. And so he picked up Eeyore's tail and went on his way. By now, Private Eye Tigger was hot on the tail's trail, and he was ready to question his first suspect. When was the last time you saw Eeyore's tail? Tigger demanded, bouncing into Rabbit's house. I don't know anything about it, answered Rabbit, but Pooh just left and now my worm wrangler is missing. Ha! said Private Eye Tigger, bouncing away. Meanwhile, Pooh was out in the woods using the tail to tickle some bees out of their hive. While the bees giggled, Pooh scooped up several paws full of honey. The trouble was, Pooh was having so much fun eating that he forgot to keep tickling. The angry bees chased him until he tripped and caught his head in the honey jar. Pooh rolled down the hill until he smacked into Eeyore, Rabbit, and Tigger. Give Rabbit back his worm wrangler, Tigger ordered. I don't know anything about a worm wrangler. But I'm missing a bee tickler, said Pooh. Will you help me find it? Not far away, Piglet was shaking with fear. He had spotted Eeyore's tail waving from a bush, and he didn't trust it one little bit. That looks like part of a very large animal, said Piglet, who was a very small animal. I wonder what's attached to the other end. The wind deposited the tail at Piglet's feet. Piglet was relieved to see that nothing was attached to the tail. I'll make this into a bully bamboozler, he exclaimed. It will be perfect for scaring off very large animals. And so he got a balloon and some paint and went to work. Tigger, meanwhile, was still scouring the woods, looking for whoever had stolen Eeyore's tail, Rablet's worm wrangler, and Pooh's bee tickler. He thought it might be Piglet. Then the bully bamboozler appeared. The bully bamboozler looked just like the picture of Piglet that Tiger had drawn on a wanted poster. And that picture looked nothing like Piglet at all. When Tigger snatched the balloon, it burst, sending Eeyore's tail flying. Oh, my. Oh, 
<laughs> when Al flew by, he saw Eeyore's tail. He was astonished. That looks exactly like my Uncle Torbert's bell rope, he exclaimed. I must have it. And so he happily scooped up the tail and carried it back home. Tigger saw the whole thing. So Al's the one, he said. Tigger bounced up to Owl's door, pulled off the bell rope, and marched inside. What have we here? he asked Owl, tossing the evidence on the couch. Ouch! cried Eeyore. He had finally found his tail by sitting on it. <laughs> Aha! said Tigger as he held up Eeyore's tail for all to see. My worm wrangler, said Rabbit. My bee tickler, said Pooh. My bully bamboozler, said Piglet. Uncle Tom's bell rope, said Owl. My tail, said Eeyore. Tigger pinned the tail back on Eeyore. Another case solved, he said proudly. Thank goodness, said Eeyore. I never knew how much I missed my tail until it wasn't there to fall off. <laughs> Uh, you ever have that situation where you don't miss something until you don't have it? That's from an old song that they used to sing too. You never know what you got until it's gone. Well, hope you like that story. As our friend Tigger says, ta-ta for now. Love you guys. Bye-bye.